In this video, I'm going to share with you five interesting rags to riches stories. You know, the lessons that we learn from them and a simple idea that can get you started onto the same journey just like they did, right? So let's dive right into the video. Right, so hey, welcome to Mighty Success Blueprint. My name is Nicholas Mighty and hey, I'm really excited that you're here watching this video rags to riches right so it means you're ready to change your life at some point right we all make that decision and that makes you know that's really important but hey the action is most important so make sure that at the end of this video you're able to take an action right onto the journey maybe onto financial freedom i guess that's what you're interested in right if you're watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe right now on this channel I produce content on personal development personal finance, right? Uh, how can you live anywhere and work anywhere, right? Being boundless, right? Being, you know, untethered, right? <laughs> so if you're interested in um, content on financial freedom, right? Then subscribe right now and click the notifications bell so you don't miss any video. And it's free to subscribe. Hey, it's free. You don't lose anything, but hey, you know, you will be notified every time there is a piece of content that comes out on financial freedom because that's what I talk about, right? So rugs to reach it, right? When we talk about these stories, you know, we look at people and sometimes we watch these videos of these guys and, you know, it looks too far-fetched, you're right, because, you know, sometimes you think, well, I'm where, you know, I'm right here right now, but how do I get started? How do I get on the journey? And sometimes looking at someone else's story helps you to get the picture that probably you're not as bad as you think you were, right? And that's what I'm here to show you in this video, because some of these stories that I bring you today, in fact, most of them started off very unfortunate. I mean, very unfortunate, right? And they went on to become the greatest that we see today. So that tells you, you know, if you've been to school, you're probably not as bad, right? If you have a house, you know, where you live and, you know, you've got some stuff around, you've got friends, family, right? You're probably not in the worst place, right? So you got to pick yourself up you know, put on some action, right? And, you know, get to financial freedom because it's possible. It's possible. Anybody can do it. You can do it. And at the end of this video, I will share a simple idea that you can get started with if you're willing to get started. Something really simple because in the end, sometimes it doesn't really matter what you're doing, but getting moving is most important because, hey, you know, the action teaches you. You get to learn different things and then you can now apply them to something bigger maybe something you're interested in later right so let's look at these stories rugs to riches right first of all i've got um jan kum now i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that name right jan kum right and he co-founded whatsapp and if you look at the early life it's a little bit interesting he was raised in ukraine and of course migrated to the u.s later he lived on welfare and food stamps right he went on to study at uh, San Jose State and then dropped out, right? He later dropped out. Again, just like everybody else, you know, this guy did not finish. He dropped out, right? <laughs> but how do these guys get to where they are, right? And of course, his achievements, one of them, he confounded WhatsApp and of course owns 45% of it, uh, you know. So, and he's got a net worth of 7 billion, right? 7 billion, 7 billion, right? So let's look at Oprah, number two, right? A TV star, okay? Early life, she was raped at nine years old. Now, it doesn't get any bad. I mean, how do you come back from this? And yet, here we are, she hosted Oprah Winfrey Show, and that's one of the biggest of its kind. The first black female, right? Anchored at the age of 20. Successful actor, she's got, you know, she's got productions, right? And she's worth... 3.5 billion dollars it could be more but that's just close to what she's got then we have steve jobs right who is an entrepreneur steve jobs early life was a little bit dramatic as well right he was adopted just after birth he was adopted he was put up for adoption and then he dropped out of high school of course he was fired from apple earlier right but one of the greatest achievements is he was the he he was the brains of Apple. He helped them to to get to a level, right, to where they are probably. He's been the brains of Apple, and at at the time when he died, he was worth 
$10.2 billion. That's interesting. I look at Jack Ma, you know, chairman Alibaba, right? Alibaba group of companies. He grew up in poor communist China, failed his college entrance exam, right? And of course he, you know, I, I learned that he traded English lessons for, you know, for a little bit of handwork, right? And of course, you know, one of the achievements is he's, of course, chairman of Alibaba, right? He founded Alibaba Group of Companies. He's one of the richest men in China. He launched an on online trade, an online auction, right? Site is an auction site. I've not been to this site, but I mean, I've not navigated it that much, but, you know, um, I know very well what Alibaba is because I've worked with, you know, some of the suppliers on there. Really impressive. And of course, he's worth 25.7 billion dollars let's look at number five howard howard you call him howard right he's the ceo of starbucks right now when you look at this guy he grew up in subsidized housing no coincidence just like all of them um he joined starbucks in 1982 right and of course left started his own company and of course came back later as as CEO of Starbucks, that's impressive, and of course, currently he is one of the best-selling authors. Impressive, three point five, three point nine billion dollars. Interesting stuff, you know. And of course, a few lessons to learn from these guys. Most of the richest people didn't go to school. You're probably in a better position if you did, right? They all had a rough start. You probably have better conditions today. They are people just like you are, right? You're probably smarter than these guys. And that's for sure. You're probably much smarter than these guys, right? And anyone can become what they choose as long as they know who they like to be, right? So do you know who you would like to be? I think that's the biggest question. That's what stands in the way. Do you know who you would like to be? Have you set some goals, right? Because if you look at these guys, most of, you know, one thing that comes to my mind when I look at rags to riches is most of them are really persistent. They are really, they were and are still really persistent. I mean, if you look at Donald Trump, he's got lawsuits, you know, basically hanging over his head, right? And then he still says, well, I will stand for president. I'm still going to stand for president, right? So, I mean, love him or hate him, right? But if you look at his passion for, you know, for his mission, right? It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. I can really learn great stuff from these guys. I know they do quite other things differently, but I would rather pick the positive lessons, right? So having looked at all of this, right, you can probably come to a conclusion that you're not in the worst place after all, right? You and I are not in the worst place. So what stands in the way? There are many things, right? There are many things. One of them is in action, right? Doing nothing, especially at the end of a video like this one, after I've shared with you a simple idea. If you take, if you go home and do something about it, Maybe decide to start a passive income journey. Maybe have a look online. You know, what can I start? What type of businesses can I start, right? Online, so that they help me to generate revenue passively, right? While I'm doing other things, I could be able to generate revenue passively. And I'll give you one very simple idea, which I promise to share with you at the end of this video. Now, this is fascinating, and most probably you're going to be amazed, right? Did you know that most of the products on Amazon and eBay are actually products coming from your local stores? And I mean, most of them are, right? In fact, that, that actually tells you that somebody has been to your local shop, bought those products and taken them to Amazon, taken them to eBay, right? And eBay has a fulfillment, Amazon has a fulfillment service. I'm not sure if eBay has a fulfillment service, but you know, that's something that you can take advantage of, right? You can, you can basically compare prices from your local store to Amazon, right? Put in an investment, and sometimes you don't have to commit yourself if a product is not working. If it's, you know, you can test it out by trying a listing, right? So that when that product sells, you now go to the shop and buy it and ship it, right? And once you've sold a few of those products and you've proved that, you know, this product is hot selling, right? then you could actually, you know, take a whole lot of them and give them to fulfillment to do them for you. Right now, that's really simple and doable. In fact, most people are doing it. And that's really simple. If you look at eBay, most of the products that are on there are really from your local stores. Now, the profit margins might be little, 
But if they, if you consider purchases in terms of thousands of purchases every month, then they are not small at all. They earn significant revenue, right? So it's very, very important that, you know, we look at online business from a different angle and of course, taking action. And of course, there are many other ideas that you could get started with, right? So, and if you're interested in really learning how to grow a digital business, right? Then check the links in the description. If you wanna really book a session with me to discuss direction, maybe you, you, you don't know how to set goals yet and you don't know what that might mean to you, then check the links in the description, you know, book a call with me and hey, we'll talk about things and probably come up with a plan. Most importantly, that you do something with, with what you learn every day. Maybe you watch YouTube videos, do something with the stuff that you learn on a daily basis. Hey, thank you very much. I hope you learned something from this video. Drop me some comments below. Just let me know what you think about these rugs to riches guys. And you could be next, right? But hey, start doing something. Start something today, right? Aside what you're doing every day, aside the fixed amount of income that you're earning, you know, uh, start widening, right? Multiple streams of income, start earning from different streams, right? And, you know, check the links in the description, go to my automated income dash. Everything is free. You will learn step by step on how to set up most of the businesses because I have actually gone through this myself, right? I have an agency and we have gone through this. We built everything from scratch, learning from zero. So you can, you, you can bank on our experience, right? To do this, right? So check the links in the description and hey, I will see you in the next video. Bless you.